Welcome back to Tic Tac Toe from Scratch on Unreal Engine 4.26. Today we're going to look at how we can create a scoreboard so we can track the score of player X and then player 0. Last time we left off, we had a working game prototype which will pop up the name for the winner as they win and we also implemented the restart button. An issue that arised with it is uh, it was trying to add the winner UI to the viewport so let's go ahead and fix that in the level blueprint as you can see it goes from the win condition and since it goes through it every single time we click it it was trying to add it to the viewport every time so in order to fix that all we need to do is add a branch here and we can just uh, put it to false We need to look for not equal to. So as long as winner name is not equal to the default name, which is no winner yet. So as long as that no oh. compile save and that should fix it. Let's give it a check. Yep, and that fixed it. I didn't have the error pop up. So anyway, moving on. So last time we left off with our winner UI where we created a custom binding. We're going to do something similar, but this time it's going to be on the screen for forever. That's why we're going to add it to the game UI where we put our restart button. So let's go ahead and create a text box. I'm going to name this x underscore score and duplicate this and put that one here and change this one to O underscore score and now we just gotta make bindings for them so create binding same as last time create a variable x underscore ui make sure it's an integer now whatever whenever this value changes it will auto update here as well. Just gotta do the same thing for O. Okay. Probably should rename these. This is for X score function. make it here make sure these variables are exposed that way we can change it from our overall level which is over here all right and now that we have the place where we can place our scores we gotta make them appear somewhere here in the main uh, level blueprint so let's go ahead and create two integer variables here as well And then can duplicate this. Boom. Okay. So compile these initial value should be zero. Okay. Now how do we increase the okay, let's make a branch and let's do another condition. So String winner is X. Make sure, like, it is the exact same text winner is X from the previous function. So, if that is true, then we will set the value of this, and that is going to be. Um, in integer increment 
and we gotta do the same thing for O. This branch is accessed only when the winner is decided anyway, so we should be fine. Save. And now all of that is set. We also need to make sure we are calling it over to here, which is the game UI. So game UI variable, and then search for set x score on the UI, which goes here. And then we also got to search for set o score. UI. Do I actually need these? I don't think I need those. Okay. Yeah, these are increment operators, so they're gonna set the value up regardless. Okay. So that goes there, this goes here. Okay. Pile and save this. Let's play. Uh, that's the zero for x and zero for o. That's one now because x one. Let's make o win. That's one here. It's x win again. All right, great. So now that we have a working and functional scoreboard, we just need to make sure we know which one it is that is winning so i guess i could just put an x here and an o here right and then it will kind of look like x is here o is here and if i restart okay i'll also destroy those so what i should do is i'll just duplicate these And I'll also duplicate this one. goes here, O goes here, and since these are different blueprint classes, whenever you click restart, they will not go away, even though the others will. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and set up this a little better, so let me go ahead and anchor these properly from the sides. Um, make this 150 by 40 is okay how far is the restart button 150 okay so 150 and then another same thing with oh 150, so we set anchor. Okay, so now those are officially in the correct places. I just need to make sure I move these a little more. Okay. I guess we should kind of move it a little more. Two hundred.
yeah, I guess that kind of works. All right, in the next video, we'll see how we can have it. So whenever it is the turn for player X or whenever it's the turn for player O, uh, Spotlight highlights this thing or on this side. So I will see you then. Bye-bye.